So if you are looking for an internship, this is a right opportunity for you. Google is hiring interns and it is a software student training in engineering program 2025. Now let's see the job locations they are hiring for. The job locations are Bangalore, Hyderabad and Pune. Their internship will start in May 2025 and it will happen for 10 to 12 weeks in duration. Now let's look into the minimum qualification that is required for you to enroll into this program. You should be currently enrolled in a bachelor's program. That means you are enrolled in an undergraduate program. Your major should be in computer science or related technical field. You should have experience in one or more general purpose programming languages such as C, C++, Java, Python and any of the programming languages. You need to have the ability to communicate in English fluently because you will be participating in technical discussion more. So you will need to have a good communication skill. Now let's see the preferred qualification for this role that you should be currently enrolled in a full time degree program. After completion of this internship, you will return to your college. You should have the ability to complete a full time 10 to 12 weeks of internship between May to August 2025. So uh, this is not an exact date. They will provide it later in the point of process. So uh, have it in mind. You will be working for 10 to 12 weeks. Uh, they are expecting a good programming skill. As I mentioned, the example can be C++, Java, Python, C or anything. So now let's see the responsibilities. In this, they have mentioned that uh, the specific responsibility will vary by project area. So you will be selected for this program and you will be deployed in different uh, project areas. So they will uh, let you know after your uh, selection. So now let's see how to prepare for this role. Uh, we have researched about this role and we have made few points which can help you. So now let's see how to prepare for this role. These are a uh, few of the basic things you can actually have in mind for preparing. So usually Google requires the step applicants to have some fundamental uh, coding knowledge, but you don't have to be an advanced programmer, but you should have a basic to intermediate programming skills. So they will select you. Uh, now let's see uh, the key areas you need to prepare for. The first thing is coding. You should be proficient in one or least programming languages that is typically like Python, Java or C++ and you need to know the data structures and algorithm. You need to get comfortable with the foundation of data structures and algorithm as interview questions usually focus on these questions. And, uh, and you need to have some problem solving skills. Uh, you need to practice solving the coding program within the time constraint where uh, Google values efficient uh, problem solving skill. The second thing is coding resources to practice. You can use the platforms like lead code, code signal, hacker rank and etc. And the topics you need to cover are arrays and strings, linked list, stacks and queues, trees, especially binary trees and binary search trees. You need to know about graphs. That is basic traversal technique. You need to know the sorting and searching algorithm and dynamic programming from basic to intermediate level. These are the topics you need to cover. And now let's see the technical concepts you need to cover. The first one is complexity analysis. You need to be ready and analyze the time and space complexity for your solution. And the second thing is recursion. Recursive approaches are common in Google interview. So ensure you are comfortable with them. And the third one is system design and you need to know the basics of it. Even though the step is for the beginners, Google may probe your understanding how a system works at a basic level like the client server model or basically a scalability concept. Now let's see the uh, fourth one. The fourth one is behavioral interview preparation. You will need to know like uh, basically Google is known for its culture fit and value based question. So prepare to talk about the experiences where you have showed your teamwork, problem solving and adaptability. Actually use the star method uh, where uh, that is situation, task, action and result. This will help you to structure your answer to behavioral question and that is a very efficient way for you. And now let's see a few of the examples for behavioral questions. And a uh, few of the examples are tell me about a time you solved a challenging program. And another question is describe a time you worked on a project with others and how you handle differences in opinion. And the third one is 
how do you keep yourself motivated when learning new technical skills the next one is very important and it is most commonly asked question for step internship interview first let's see about the coding question usually you will get one to two questions per interview and the questions include find the largest number in an array reverse a linked list implement a function to check if the string has all unique characters perform binary search on a sorted array traverse a binary tree in pre order in order and post order and the last question is implement a function to detect cycles in a graph these are the mostly asked questions in coding now let's see the technical or conceptual questions the first question is explain the difference between stack and heap memory the second is describe the time complexity of a common data structures like array linked list hash maps and etc the third one is explain the pros and cons of using recursion versus iteration and now let's see the behavioral questions the behavioral questions will include why are you interested in the step internship at google tell me about a time you faced failure and how you handled it what is a project you are particularly proud of and what role did you play now we have seen the most asked questions so now let's proceed to the next one the next one is selection process and the next one is selection process the first one is application and resume screening ensure your resume highlights a relevant coursework personal or academic project coding languages and any extracurricular related to tech and next one will be online assessment some candidates might receive a coding assessment online before the interview stage and then you will have your interview typically there are two technical interview each interview will last around 45 minutes and focuses on coding problems and problem solving skill and behavioral questions might be asked to understand your motivation and fit for the role now let's see the final thing these are some additional tips for you you can go with some mock interviews you can practice with your friends or use the platforms like pram to simulate real time interview conditions then you can get familiar with the google's culture you will need to read upon the google's value its approach and diversity and its current initiatives in tech to prepare for behavioral interview and then the last one is the most important thing practice your communication skill be prepared to explain your code and throughout the process clearly as google places high importance on communication skills in interview we hope these things has helped you in some way and if you think this is informative please let us in the comment section and if you need to apply for this role please check the description for the link and if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and share it to your friends